more than 5,000 years ago, Lord Sri Krishna declared to sage Narad and Queen Rukmini that he would personally appear in the Kali Yuga to distribute his own divine love. In the 15th century, the Lord came as promised in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and spread pure love of Godhead and the congregational chanting of the holy names throughout India. The Lord's closest associate, Sri Nityananda, predicted that an astonishing temple would one day manifest at Mayapur, the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya, from where the Lord's mission would be broadcast all over the world. In the late 19th century, the pioneer of the program to distribute Lord Chaitanya's teachings outside India, Chula Bhaktivinoda Thakur, received a spiritual vision of the wonderful temple where people of all nations would gather to chant the Lord's holy name. The Thakur's illustrious son, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, continued the mission of his father, developing Mayapur and establishing 64 temples throughout India. Under the divine instruction of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada brought the teachings of Sri Chaitanya to the Western world, establishing over 100 centers of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness across the globe. In the 1970s, Srila Prabhupada revealed his vision for the Grand Mayapur Temple, instructing his disciples to create a Vedic planetarium that would be a direct challenge to the prominent atheistic and mechanistic world view. Now, by the grace of the Lord, the vision of Srila Prabhupada and his previous acharyas is beginning to manifest in Sri Mayapur, the temple of the Vedic planetarium. Situated in the lush green countryside of Bengal, on the bank of the sacred Ganges, Sri Mayapur Dham has been a holy place for millennia but has special significance for the worshippers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Kirtana Bhanana Tanapano Premamritam Manidhi Srila Prabhupada gave many instructions on how to fulfill his vision for the temple and his disciples have been working for many years to see it manifest.
धीर जन प्रिय प्रिय कर नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं कुन सदर्म संस्थापक
It is not only a temple, but a planet, according to Mahatma. Where which planet is situated? Where is Vaikuntha Lok? Where is Golok Vrindavan? Srila Prabhupada also used the example of a chandelier hanging from the ceiling to describe his vision for the planetary model. This planetary system is rotating from east to west and it is hanging like the chandelier, taking shelter of the pole star. That we can see every night. While Srila Prabhupada gave many instructions on the planetary model, the most complete recorded description of his vision was in a 1976 letter where he clearly laid out the 15 distinct features to be presented. The TOVP cosmology team has used this letter with the other instructions given by Srila Prabhupada to develop a model that is strictly faithful to the vision of His Divine Grace and the Vedic version. Looking up from the temple room floor, visitors will first see the form of Garbhadakshaya Vishnu lying on Ananta Shesha with Lakshmi Devi. Above him are the seven lower planetary systems, abodes of the Nagas, Daityas and Dhanavas, and above these is the plain of Bhu Mandala. In the model, this measures more than 30 meters across, with concentric rings representing the seven oceans and islands of Bhu Mandala. In the center rises Mount Meru, atop Jambudweep, the central island of Bhu Mandala. The Puranas describe Jambudweep as having the form of a Yagyakund, with Mount Meru being like the blazing fire at the center of the Kund. Thus, the earthly realm situated on Jambudweep is designated as a place to perform sacrifice within the universe. Above Jambudweep is Bhuva Loka, the residence of the Upadevas, and from the orbit of the sun up to the pole star Dhruva Loka is the Svarga Loka or heavenly realm. The planets are described in the Srimad Bhagavatam as personalities riding in chariots with their associates and paraphernalia. The model is faithful to this description, reinforcing the Vedic version that the universe is not governed by impersonal forces or filled with a vacuum of space, but is overseen by unique living personalities and is teeming with life. Srila Shukadev Goswami gives the analogy of an ant crawling on a potter's wheel to explain the movement of the planets and stars. If an ant moves in a circular motion around a stationary potter's wheel, we can see that the movement of the ant is forwards both for him and for us viewing from afar. However, if the wheel is rotating in the other direction, we can see that the ant's movement is still forwards relative to the wheel but from the viewer's perspective, the ant appears to be moving backwards under the influence of the rotating potter's wheel. In the same way, the planets have their own forward movement within the Kala Chakra or Wheel of Time. However, because the Kala Chakra is rotating in the opposite direction, 
it appears to an outsider as if they are moving backwards. Above Svarga, the visible planets and the pole star, begins the realms of the universe which are totally invisible to human eyes. Maha, Jana, Satya and Tapa Lokas, where perfected beings reside. Above these are the universal coverings, Shiva Loka, Maha Vishnu and the Brahman effulgence. Finally, in the unlimited spiritual sky is the realm of the Vaikuntha planets and the supreme realm, Goloka Vrindavan, where devotees perpetually relish the pure spiritual existence of eternal loving service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna.